My friend Lisa Niver, she knows how to do proper drinks. What do you want to drink when it's dark and stormy out? Did you get that? Dark and stormy. The Ocean Teeny, only at the Fairmont Southampton. Yellow bird. Come swizzle with me. Rum swizzle or dark and stormy? Which of these drinks is the true national drink of Bermuda? Today at the Swizzle Inn, we're going to find out how to make both of these classic island drinks. In 1932, the Outerbridge family opened the Swizzle Inn, and we've not changed a thing about the recipe over the years, and it consistently works. Every social gathering in Bermuda, there's always rum swizzle. And of course, everybody's rum swizzle is apparently the best rum swizzle. But I can safely say ours is the best. It's the original, and I can say with confidence, probably the strongest rum swizzle, too. You know, if you go to various islands in the Caribbean, you always find when you get there, there's always one sort of special bar or social place that people always talk about. And we're very fortunate to be that here in Bermuda. It's a great atmosphere. It is uh, a place where locals and visitors mingle, and that interaction has always been a big part of our success. I'm sure you can't divulge your family secret, but could you share a little bit about what goes into the rum swizzle? Sure, I'd be happy to. As you can see, we've, we've got the ingredients all lined up here. Uh, we start off with uh, the main ingredient, of course, is the uh, Gosling's Black Seal Rum. Second part is uh, Gosling's Gold Rum, triple sec. And then an ingredient that is uh, unique to our rum swizzle and fairly unique to the world, it's called falernum. It's a sweetener that's made from various herbs and fruits and botanicals, infused with a very small amount of alcohol. Angostura bitters in any great cocktail is always a dash or two of that. Then we have our fruit juices here. We've got orange juice, pineapple juice, and unsweetened lemon juice. So we blend those all together. Um, in a four gallon batch, you'll have two gallons of alcohol, two gallons of the uh, non-alcoholic part. So it packs a good punch. Dark and Stormy is the other iconic drink in Bermuda. Less iconic than the rum swizzle in my opinion, but uh, certainly a favorite amongst visitors and locals. It's a simpler drink. Basically it's ice in a glass with uh, a good pour of ginger beer and then you float on top a very good portion of Gosling's Black Seal Rum. As you can see here, you have the black rum on the top and then you can see the ginger beer in the bottom. A nice wedge of fresh lime, stick in a, a stir and off you go. It's a great drink. And which is your favorite when you have to weigh in on the dark and stormy versus the rum swizzle? Well, I think I'd be uh, fired by the directors if I said dark and stormy. Certainly the rum swizzle. I've grown up with it and, uh, and it's a more complex drink. Uh, and yeah, I think it's, it is more flavors going on in there. So my personal favorite is the rum swizzle, of course. Swizzle in and swagger out. Cheers. Yeah, it's pretty good. Hehehe. <laughs>